Hey YouTube, it's Audrey and I'm here to share with you my project for this week for the Cutting Cafe design team. This week we got to use the printable stamp set file called Beautiful Rose and it is perfect for upcoming graduations, for Mother's Day, um, or anytime you just want to give somebody a rose. There are several, several different images of roses and rosebuds, their vases, um, their roses printed on different shapes. Um, and then there's also the vase card that you could use, which is what I used. And this doesn't have to be a card. It could just be um, something that you could give to someone to sit on their desk or even just for yourself. But what I did was with the help of my husband who had the suggestion, I made it somewhat um, dimensional and I um, used, as I said before, the card, vase card, which comes with it. And then my husband actually made this stem and it's like a square stem. He just cut it out and scored it with um, an X-Acto knife. And uh, then he actually paper pieced the rose for me. Um, he wanted to spend some time with me because I had been gone last week. And so he came down to see what I was doing. And he's like, I got a suggestion. And then he thought I wasn't going to like it. But I did like the way it turned out. And then I put glitter around the seams um, to define the petals a little bit. I'm not sure how well you are picking that up on the video but um that's what i did and he used different pieces of my scrap paper out of my scrap file and he just sat there with an exacto knife and cut it out so this is kind of a tag team project and then like i said he made the little stem which is like a square and i just have right now the flower glued on the back i'll probably cut out another one in reverse and put it on the back side so that um, that won't show so much that way. Then I took a piece of glitter ribbon here and put that across the top of the vase. And then I used three flat back pearls in descending sizes. I kind of just edged it a little bit with a little lime green glitter. And the sentiment comes with the set there are a lot of sentiments, but this one says, sometimes you just need to stop and smell the roses. And I just cut it out with my um, Spellbinders dye, and then I popped it up on black pop dots. Can't see it very well, but just slightly popped up. So on the inside, if I choose to, I could put a sentiment if I'm going to give it to somebody or I could just leave it blank if it is going to be something that I keep and sit on my desk. So that is my project for this week. And as always, go over to the Cutting Cafe because it's Inspiration Wednesday and look at the blog and check out all of the projects that the design team members have completed. And be sure to leave a comment because every week Regina picks a person to win three free, three free files um, from the comments that were given the previous week. So stop on over, leave a comment. And then also if you'd like to see some still shots or some close-ups of this project or any of my other projects, just stop by my blog, which is www so good s e w g o o d crafter.com as always i thank you for watching and you have a great and very blessed day